welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgeway. Um, I'm an author of several Tudor history books and I also run the Amberlynn Falls and Tudor Society uh, websites. Uh, I'm back in my office today. I know some of you were a little bit concerned about the sound quality in the kitchen but we were having lots of building work done. So um, the echoey sort of sound in there was a bit better than clouds of dust billowing past me and uh, saws and drills and that. But so uh, I'm back in my office now, so all is good. Okay, today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII. Uh, for on this day in Tudor history, the 23rd of May, 1533, Thomas Cramner, who was of course Henry VIII's Archbishop of Canterbury, um, declared the sentence of a special court that had been convened at Dunstable Priory in the county of Bedfordshire in England. Now this court had met to examine the King's case for an annulment of his first marriage i.e. his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. Now this court meeting, uh, this was following convocations ruling, um, which was declared on the 5th of April, 1533, that the Pope had no power to <coughs> dispense in the case of a man marrying his brother's widow. For of course, Catherine of Aragon had been married to Prince Arthur, Henry VIII's brother previously and that this marriage had been contrary to God's law. That ruling by convocation had led to Archbishop Thomas Cranmer being authorised to set up this special trial at Dunstable Priory to examine the case. Now here is the record of the Dunstable Priory court sentence. It's taken from Letters and Papers of Henry VIII's reign. My Lord of Canterbury gave sentence this day at 11 o'clock in the great cause of matrimony, has declared it to be against the law of God and has divorced the king from the noble lady Catherine. He has used himself in this matter very honourably and all who have been sent hither on the king's behalf have acted diligently and towardly. Sentence shall be given for the king's second contract of matrimony before the feast of Pentecost. The process is partly devised, 23rd of May. Now the Archbishop then wrote personally to King Henry VIII informing him of the sentence and sending him formal notification of the sentence of divorce between Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon. Five days later, on the 28th of May 1533, the Archbishop proclaimed the validity of Henry VIII's marriage to Anne Boleyn after a special inquiry into this marriage at Lambeth Palace. Now, of course, the couple had got married on the 25th of January, 1533, or perhaps actually in November, 1532, when they got back from their visit to Calais. Hello, Magic Cat. Magic is just coming in to say hello to us. Now, this was just in time for Anne Boleyn's coronation celebrations, which began on the 29th of May. So they were cutting it very fine, weren't they? Proclaiming the validity of the marriage on the 28th of May and then kicking off Anne Boleyn's coronation celebrations with a spectacular river procession on the River Thames. So cutting things very fine, but it all came good in the end. So uh, that is what happened on this day in history, the 23rd of May, 1533. I wonder if I can pick up Madge for you. There you go. I know some of you like to see the pets, but she really doesn't want to be picked up, do you, Madge? No, you don't. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow with another On This Day in Tudor History event for you. I will see you then. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking that button there. You can give me a like as well, that would be very much appreciated. And you can, of course, now we've got two cats fighting. They're in bad moods today. You can, of course, hit the bell to be notified um, of videos as they go live. But rest assured, I'm here every day for 2019. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.